Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I've just come back from the hobby store and I picked up a few bits and pieces. After a lot of umming and ahhing and contemplating and thinking, I've finally chosen the one that I am going to commit to. So, and it's not going to be much of a surprise if you have seen my last video, but I chose to go with the Death Guard. So I've got, um, I figured, you know, with the rules changing soon that Plague Marines is probably a safe bet to go with. Now, I don't know anything about points or stats or weapons or even the rules in general for 40k are still very grey to me. But from what I've seen in uh, battle reports on YouTube, I think almost everyone I watched had a unit of Plague Marines in it. So this is what we're starting with. Once the rules come out, um, I'll start to um, think more about points and my first goal with the army is to build a 500 point army and then hopefully play some games. Um, but like everyone else, we're, we're still waiting on rules for that. Okay, so I've got some models and I also got some bits and pieces. So I figured I got two sprays, uh, spray primers, one Chaos Black and one White Scar. I really want to try, uh, I was watching uh, so many YouTube videos lately on painting tutorials and all of that. And one technique that um, I came across, I think it was called Zenith shading. And you can kind of imitate what um, or how you would grayscale paint a model <laughs> with through an airbrush. I think I got that right. Uh, through two cans. So uh, what I'm going to do is paint them all black and then from an angle um, spray them with white to kind of pick out some highlight areas. I've never done this before but um, that is the thought behind that. I also have a bunch of new paints and I, I will um, take you through them in a sec. I've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, there were also a couple of people uh, in my last video who recommended getting some of this uh, Tamiya cement. So, giving this a try as well. Apparently, it's um, really good for um, sticking models together. I did watch a video on this too, and it, instead of like gluing them together, it kind of like mounts them together. So, I'll, um, I'll make sure I'm extra careful with this and try not to um, ruin my uh, figurines too much. My miniatures, sorry. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about the color scheme that I'm thinking of going with uh, for this Death Guard army. Now, I am a bit of a geek. I overthink things a lot. I like to plan. I like to strategize. Um, a long, long time ago, I used to work as a graphic designer. So creating mood boards and planning um, designs and colors and all, all of that. Um, I, I used to do a lot of that before, you know, starting any project. and. Um, so for this project, I've created a mood board of the, the color schemes, the look and feel that I'm hoping to achieve with my uh, Death Guard army. I don't know if I'll be able to achieve it or not, but just to give you guys an idea, I, I love green. Green is my favorite color. When it comes to the Death Guard army, I think I want to go for a slightly more darker, kind of mature um, color scheme as opposed to the one that um, they showcase like on the websites and it's it's a it's a lot of lighter greens I wouldn't say lighter but um, middle greens with kind of like brassy gold colors and I think I'm gonna go for a slightly darker green and kind of combine it with darker metal colors as opposed to like the brassy gold ones now if I scroll down a bit here uh, I'll, I'll come back to this so in terms of like the metal areas, I think this is um, the Hound from Game of Thrones. I really want to try get dark, kind of weathered uh, metal areas. I know there's not a whole lot of those areas on the on the minis, but this is what I'm trying to achieve. Now there are also quite a lot of uh, uh, horns and skulls and um, little bits and pieces poking out in the miniatures. And so for those areas, I want to 
kind of replicate this look with um, almost like an ivory uh, tusk but I think I'm gonna do it the other way around where I've got like the darker areas at the base and it kind of goes um, to, to a white at the top uh, and then I'll put a wash over it to hopefully make it look a bit more uh, weathered and not so clean now coming back to like these um, you might be wondering why I've got pictures of lettuce in the snow uh, on my mood board and when I think of um, so, so I've played a lot of Total War Warhammer and Nurgle um, in those games or in that world you know they're, they're from the north in the, the chaos wastelands where it's very cold and I'm thinking that you know this Nurgle or the Death Guard army is I don't know if like time travel is a thing in 40k uh, let me know if it is or isn't um, so maybe this Death Guard army has warped somehow into the old world and they're you know coming down south from the chaos wastelands into Kislev uh, heading towards the Empire and it's snowy so I haven't bought any snow um, but I'm thinking for the bases I might try do a bit of a snow theme I think it looks really cool with green I'm a little bit worried about it because some of the tutorials that I've seen on YouTube about creating snow bases they do look a bit tacky um, so it's definitely going to have to be something I play around with a bit um, before I fully commit to doing it on my whole army now talking about some of the paints that I've got so to achieve this green I've got this contrast paint, um, mili mili Militrum, Militrum, Militrum Green. I'm dyslexic, I'm so sorry, I cannot read that. It's green. <laughs> I have green. And uh, I'm thinking of doing a wash with that. With I did get known oil, which I've, I think is a bit of a dark grey wash, so that's, I think that'll um, help me get the colours that I'm wanting to get for that. Now for the um, armor, I did see this really cool tutorial on this guy who was painting, uh, it was a Necron warrior, but he did this really, part of it was really cool, like like this kind of color we're seeing here, like um, weathered, metal, silvery, and the colors that that guy used were, he did a base of um, a brass color, which actually came in that starter set that I have. I haven't got it here and he dry brushed with that and then I believe he dry brushed with um, canoptic alloy on top of that so I'm gonna do that um, and then I've got a contrast paint of balisicinum gray I definitely butchered that I'm gonna put the words on the screen as well just so you guys know what I'm talking about um, I cannot remember what he used this for so I'm gonna have to watch that tutorial again before I start painting and I did pick up uh, Iron Warriors and Lead Belcher um, I think I'm gonna use these more for the, the weapons, the axes, uh, the guns and the chains and bits and pieces and then for the, uh, the tusks or the horns um, I'm going to go for a Fondia Brown it's kind of like the base um, screaming skull as like a layer on top of that and then pallid witch flesh was it the other way around no 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 it was that way um, to kind of get that those white tips so quite excited for that I think that will look really cool okay I've just jumped onto the, the games workshop website so at the moment I've got enough paints to cover the armor the horns, um, the bones or skulls, the weapons probably, but I haven't thought too much about the like the tongues or the fabric areas or like these, um, I think there's like little tentacle uh, things as well that are popping out. Yeah, here we go, see like these tentacle areas. I don't know what color to do those in yet. I think once I've uh, kind of got the armor and stuff done I'll kind of have another brainstorm and think about what 
colors to do those maybe something a bit brighter and vibrant to help them stand out but I kind of think of this from a well real not realistic but realistic point of view where if the horns are you know like ivory color with dark base what would the what color would the tentacles be so I'm trying to imagine like the inside of the armor with these horns like what colors would those be um, so yeah haven't haven't thought about that yet uh, so yeah all of these like copper areas this will all be like silvers and grays and metal colors there are also all these little slimy bits and I'm not sure I do have a, a technical color a bright green a necron one maybe I could do that uh, again I'm probably gonna leave these to the end um, that's cool that he's got teeth on his um, axe here oh, what else are we looking at here I'm not sure what this weapon is and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it <laughs> and also this is this like so when I was reading the description online it was um, telling me that the box comes with all of these different weapon variants um, and knives and grenades and bolt guns or melter guns and all, all that kind of stuff I don't know what any of that is and I guess one question I had was if for example I was to make um, my units here you know or have a knife and a gun for example but then when I'm playing them I wanted them to have something else do I have to have that on the model for for that to be okay or do I have to have the model with those specific weapons um, it makes it tricky when I don't know any of the rules yeah some of these uh, like tongue areas as well I do have a red that came with the starter box so maybe for like the tongues I might do them like red and some other colors I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with, with these faces I might maybe do similar to what I'm doing with um, the horns but maybe not as white we'll see looking at the weapons here as well they've gone for so many different colors is this like wood I'll figure it out as I go but I'm excited to jump into it and start. Another thing I forgot to mention is um, last time I was at the supermarket, I picked up a, a set of old brushes because I only have that one starter brush and it's kind of like I had to use it for everything. So now I've got some really cheap ones which I can just use for, for all of the dry brushing and maybe like the, the base um, painting, uh, the base layer. And I'll use the one that I have in the starter kit for kind of like the highlights and details. So yeah, this is going to be my project over the next, I have no idea how long this is going to take me. Um, unfortunately, I am going away for work for like four days next week. So that is going to cut into a lot of my free time. But um, I will jump into this today. Um, hopefully do some tomorrow as well. I think I'm going to try finish one first before I smash out the rest because yeah there are seven miniatures in here so one dummy one which I can uh, test everything on and then hopefully um, it looks good and then I can uh, build the rest so yeah if you have uh, made it this far into the video I just want to say thank you so much for watching if you have any advice on the death guard or any painting tips um, that you think will be helpful to me um, I, I definitely read all of the comments so appreciate any help and feedback enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully we'll see you again sometime soon